This is the drive home with Zach, Alfie, and TT for the mill drive home. Driving home from Portman Road in our second pre season friendly that we've been able to go to. It finished Ipswich Town nil. Millwall? Three. How many, Alf? Three. Yes. Three nil to the Millwall. An accomplished professional performance against, to be honest, a pretty woeful uh, Ipswich Town side. I was expecting a lot more from them than what they delivered. But we did the job and, and, and we got the win. And that's lots of positives that we're going to talk about. If you don't mind, comment. We love reading your comments. Uh, like the video if you like the video. And obviously subscribe to the uh, Best Millwall channel. It might probably, probably is. Um, but we're trying to get to 2,000 subscribers to get us up there. Um, what also I would like to say is that I love how many people come up and talk to me and Zach. It's, it's really good. It just shows what kind of community we've got. So um, always like talking at away games to fans and home games. And it's uh, one big family. But we started off with what I will probably say is our strongest lineup today. With uh, obviously we playing uh, the 5 3 2 that we've been playing more often. And do you know what? I did make a mistake in the last one. We, we did, towards the end of last season, play that formation. Although I know Rowett likes to play the, the 5 2 three with the two holding midfielders and, and, and the two wide wingers that pull out but we're playing 5-3-2 we had Bartosz Biliakowski in goal in front of him we had Dan, uh, Danny Ballard the return of the Hutch and Jake Cooper right wing back was Danny McNamara left wing back was Scott Malone in front of them we had George Evans um, George Evans George Saville oh, there's a couple of Georges there and uh, Kefton Beld coming back up front, we had Big Benikafobe and uh, Jed, Wallace. Jed Wallace. And before I go any further, having Jed Wallace in our team makes so much of a difference. Uh, he's got one year left on his contract. Whether we can afford to keep him, um, I certainly don't want to sell him, but he's such a difference maker for this team. You know, he's energetic, he's lively, and I really hope he signs another contract. Uh, obviously, it's probably his last big contract and if he goes somewhere else it will be absolutely gutting because what he provides and what he does for the team is not just irreplaceable just no one else can do it and um, we started the game pretty lively started the game with with most of the possession Danny McNamara was really good in the first first half excellent you know wing play getting up the pitch really putting the Ipswich Town defenders under pressure he, he, he put a ball into the box in about the tenth minute that Savile got on the end of that was uh, well saved. And to be fair, like I said, we played the ball around really nicely today. I'm, I'm really surprised that Ipswich didn't press us because teams generally press us because knowing that our defenders don't really like having the ball at their feet. But today they, we weren't pressed and we looked really comfortable playing out from the back and, and obviously uh, we, we score later on from, from a fantastic move that started from the back. Uh, Zach, what were your uh, your thoughts about the early part of the first half? Um, I thought their keeper made a good save, and we kept most of the possession. So, and that was really it in the first little bit of the first half. Yeah, I, 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 then Ipswich kind of grew into the game a little bit, and 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 had about ten minutes. Their only real ten minutes of the match in our in our half. They created a chance from a corner where we kind of switched off, which was a little bit disappointing. And they hit the post from it. They got down the left side of us, uh, hit the post. And then one that kind of dribbled past the far post, which was a bit of, again, a, a bit of a defensive error. Then we, we took the lead from, from a well, what was it, like I said, from that pressure, we broke forward, which is what we do. You know, we like to sit back sometimes, catch teams on the break, and that's where you've got the, the pace of Jed's going to make a big difference. But this time, Savile done, you know, that's what he's been brought in to do, runs with the ball, attacks the defender, lays it off to Jed. Jed has a good shot. It's, 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 it's hit the target, which is, is, is what you want to ask from him. The keeper does well. Well, I say he does well. He makes the save, but he, he can't be doing what he did do, and that's parry it out. And there's Benikafobe, and that's what we don't really have other than him. You know, he's a poacher, goal poacher, goal scorer. Follows the shot in, which I'm always asking Zach to do for the Lions. And, and Benik makes it 1-0. We, we kind of dominate the rest of the first half. I think the Ipswich players got their head down. And like I said, they really didn't create too much after that for, for the rest of the game. 
before we go, I, I'll say one thing that uh, Nick Muller is an Ipswich Town fan. He's been a big uh, supporter of this channel, so uh, always puts comments in. I, I hope he, uh, well, he probably didn't enjoy today's game, but I wish him best for, for the rest of the season. But thank you very much for, for your support. Um, and then we go in at half time. We kept the same start in 11. Uh, to be fair, that just before half time, Hutch had a. Hutch had a header. Was, I know it was a shot, wasn't it? Yeah, it was he, like he a looping. Jumped, yeah, he jumped for his own header. Like he won the header, it fell 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 back down to him, and he kind of hits it, and it was really well saved by the goalkeeper to to keep it at one 0 at that stage. We go in at half time. Need to refuel, but we'll get us home. Uh, we got in at half time, no changes, and then basically played some really good football for for about fifteen to twenty minutes and and scored two goals, but. The, 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 the second goal was probably one of the best goals we've, we've scored for, for a really long time. Kept the ball down the right, into play at the back. There's a lovely crossfield ball out to, Danny, uh, to Scott Malone on the left. And then again, really good interplay between Saville and, and, um, and Evans. The ball's played, I think it was uh, Kefton Bell, uh, no, to Saville. Saville plays in uh, Cooper. Cooper, who's, you know, what you really wing. want to see, yeah, he's on the left wing. Cooper drills it, well, drills it back, and the Fobes arriving late, and then uh, it's a lovely left-footed finish into the into the top. I think it's the top right-hand corner. It's a brilliant finish from a Fobe, and and, that, and that's two go two good goals from him. It's really good to see him getting on the score sheet, and, and and he had a lively performance, and and you could tell that he got a good reaction from the fans, and it was really good to be able to support him, and and and, and I really hope he can then kick on now and. And we'll see what he does in the league. Uh, third goal was was from a corner. You know, a dreadful, woeful defending from from uh, from Ipswich. There's no getting around it. We play a short corner. Malone into Jed Wallace, who's in the corner. He's on the corner of the box, unmarked, which you cannot afford to do to a player as good as Jed Wallace. Jed Wallace then absolutely rifles it to the near post. Keeper's a bit suspect. You know, you, you want him to be doing more from that distance, but it's a well hit shot from Jed Wallace to make it 3 0. And that's where we've got man of the match for you, Zach. Well, it can only be one person. The person that, on his second debut, got. Second two debut. goals. <laughs> second debut. Second game. Uh, second game for the club. Got two goals and he he, wo he works hard, so it's got to go to Benic Afobe for me. Alf, who was your man of the match? Um, Benic Afobe because of the the amount of pressure and effort he put in up front. Uh, it's hard not to give it. You get players that yeah. score two goals. Um, you're going to win man of the match most of the time. For me, I'm, I'm going to give it to Danny McNamara. I thought that he had an excellent game defensively. He got booked in a league game. He's going to get that, that book in, which will make it difficult for him. But he puts himself about. He was up and down the wing the whole time, the whole the right side. And he's really showing something that that um, that you want to see from, from a right wing back. I felt we were a little bit sloppy first half. You know, mistakes from Evans, uh, sorry, from Kefton, Belden, Savile getting caught in possession. Things like that we can't afford to do next week because we will get punished. Like I said, Ipswich didn't really have that. We made a raft of changes in the second half. Basically, the whole 11 was changed other than Malone who stayed on for the entire game and Bartosz stayed. But um, what a, some standout performances in the second half. I felt Billy Mitchell done well when he came on, broke up the play and, and done a really good goal line block with probably the only uh, chance that Ipswich properly correct they had a couple of shots that went wide but the uh, Ipswich crossing today was absolutely woeful um, every single time it was kind of looped over to the back post and and drifted out to nobody um, but like I said I, I, Mahoney looked all right he, you know he was comfortable on the ball but I like the way we tried to play football today we we, we, we kept the ball down but more to, more often than not, the player that got the ball was comfortable to, to travel a little bit, to, to commit a couple of players, and that's exactly what you need to do when when you've got that five at the back. You should be able to outnumber players, and then you want to draw other players in, and I think we've done that really well today. And no, no great shakes, don't get me wrong. It was a big, it was a comfortable performance and a professional performance from the Lions. And the big test is how we go, uh, how we go next Saturday. I think we've got a pre another pre-season friendly. Um, but it'll be behind closed doors. It'll Calmont Road. I'm not sure who, who the opponents are. But there's enough to be optimistic after today because it was a pretty dire performance against Stillingham. But it was just great to be back. Bit of singing from the Mill fans today. A bit of um, bit of banter with with with, with the uh, the home fans, which is what's great to be. Uh, you know, it's great to be back in a football stadium. The next time 
you'll see us we'll be driving home from Loftus Road and then before the home the home game against Portsmouth and then the home league game against Blackburn. Thank you very much for your support of the channel. Thank you very much for listening. If you've got this far, you've done well. Although to be fair, it's like we said, it's one of the best channels. The best channels on YouTube are probably the best. Anything else you want to say, boys? 3 0. You can't, you can't really get better. You can't ask for more. Um, a anyone that you felt could have played better? I mean, Ben Thompson when he came on because he, he literally gifted them a chance. Yeah, that, that was one disappointing thing, Zach's right. Um, Tomo come on, looked a little bit rusty and literally played in the uh, Ipswich striker for a, for a chance, but we defended well after that. Tomo is looking a little bit rusty, I've got to, got to say, I really hope he picks up his levels because otherwise it looks like he probably will be going out on loan somewhere or maybe 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 gets picked by another team. He's probably, like Zach said, the, the only real disappointment from the game. But we go again next Saturday away at QPR. Thank you very much for watching The Mill Drive Home. One way to end it, no one likes us. We don't care. Yeah.